Hey Stampers, I'm Gail Davenport. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! Today this is the card that we're going to make and this is from the Painted Seasons which is in our celebration catalog and our brochure and with it comes these framelits. I am so excited because there's so many different things. The little leaves you can cut three at a time, the two bigger ones you can cut two at a time, the, these two you can cut two at a time, so it's stamp once, cut, or stamp twice, cut once, the acorn, the flowers. It's so cool. I am absolutely having a blast with this stamp set. And this is the one we're going to make today. I saw it on uh, Pinterest. I don't know who made it. I've seen two people put it up, but I loved it. So I'd like to give them credit. I can't, but this is the card we're making. So let's get started. First of all, I have a piece of four and a half. 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half and then I have a piece of DSP paper designer series paper That I did at five and a quarter But I did it at four instead of I mean at three and three quarters instead of four to give it a white border up on top and on the bottom Just like they did. So let's get that adhered But oh, I am loving this and You can now buy, through March 31st, the frameless that go with the Painted Season stamp set. So it is worth your time, effort, and money, if you, if you want my personal opinion. I am absolutely in love with this. Just can't, I can't get enough of it. So this is what I did. I went ahead and did it already to match the paper. This is Lemon Lime Twist, Coastal Cabana, and Petal Pink. And I went ahead and stamped them and glued and adhered them to a piece of Coca Cabana um, cardstock. And they just put it in the middle. And so that's what I'm going to do, except they took the petal pink and they took the lemon lime twist and they did the little leaves and the little dots. And so that's what we're going to do. So here's the lemon lime. I'm just going to. Put some leaves different directions and not going to worry too much about where because it's just a part of it. And I probably should have done that before I put it on the Coastal Cabana, but I didn't think about it. So we're just going to try to see what we can do to keep it from looking too horrible. And I don't think that's too bad. Then we're going to take the little dots in the uh, petal pink and we're just going to randomly stamp those around same type of thing I went over here with a little green so we're just going to put some pink dots there and see if we can hide it a little bit okay so now close these up because I have been known to take a card that I'm making and put it right into the ink pad. You like my green thumb? <laughs> it's from the lemon lime and I can't get it out. So hopefully a few more dishes and a shower and shampoo <laughs> and it'll come out. So, well. Okay. And she brought it down on the bottom just a little bit. And I haven't decided on my sentiment, so I didn't put one in there. And I don't know if I will this one. Of course, it opens the other way, but I do see where I'm hanging over a little bit. The beauty of Tombow, it gives you a little bit of wiggle room. Well, I'm trying to keep my head out of the camera and yet let you, you see what I'm doing and trimming that up. Anyway, that's our first card and I hope you enjoy it. I've loved it, but I wanted to show you this one because I fell in love with this. Now, she didn't use these colors and she didn't do it quite the same way, but I just loved this. And you open it up, and here you can write your little sentiment of whatever. But isn't that just a cool card? Now, we did this a few years ago, and I'd forgotten it till I saw it, and so I just had to copy it again. But loved it, loved it, loved it. Anyway, my name is Gail Davenport. I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. 
If you'd like to contact me, you can do it through stampinup.stampinup.net. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and tap the little bell and you'll get all of my notifications. Thank you so much for sharing a few minutes with me and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.